Motor Spirit and Mobile Oil present Mobile Quest 1952. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, the Vacuum Oil Company and your local mobile service station bring you the first semi-final of the 1952 Mobile Quest. Four singers will be heard in each semi-final. And there'll be six semi-finals before the grand final in the Melbourne Town Hall on Wednesday night, the 3rd of September. On that night, the winners of the semi-finals will be heard in one of the most exciting finales of Australia's musical history. And the first prize of £1,000 will go to the winner. And now, here's the conductor of the Australian Symphony Orchestra and director of the Vacuum Oil Company's Mobile Quest, Hector Crawford. Our first singer tonight is a bass baritone from St Kilda, Victoria, who won the fourth heat. Ladies and gentlemen, Conway Nichols. <laughs> well, Conway, when you sang in your heat, I remember you just had an accident to your nose. It was broken, I think, when you were playing tennis only a few weeks previously. It obviously didn't do you any harm. No, John, I think I was uh, very lucky. <laughs> you certainly were. Is it all right now? No further yes. trouble? Well, as a matter of fact, John, I did have another accident to it. <gasps> Good heavens. <laughs> I thought by this time you'd have learned to withdraw Honourable Scow. What happened this time? I was kicked. Kicked? How on earth did that happen? In football? No, no, on a dance floor. <laughs> oh, George. <laughs> my partner and I fell, and uh, in the jumble I collected her foot with my nose. Poor <laughs> nose. Well, I should say so. <laughs> now, well, just be careful of our microphone, will you, when you sing? Yes. <laughs> Incidentally, what are you singing? Uh, Honour and Arms from Samson. Good. Conway Nichols, the first singer in tonight's first semi-final, will sing Honour and Arms from Handel's Oratorio, Samson. <laughs> Oh, 
by Conway Nichols of Victoria. And now here's an open invitation to all motorists. Pull in at the sign of the Flying Red Horse and judge mobile single brand service for yourself. It's equal to the world's best, just as Plume, Australia's popular and economical petrol, is undoubtedly the best buy by miles. Yes, sir, and madam, the proprietor of your local mobile service station is a good man to do business with. Our second singer tonight was the winner of the fifth heat of the Vacuum Oil Company's 1952 Mobile Quest, a contralto from Mortdale, New South Wales. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Allen. <laughs> Elizabeth Allen was competitor number 13 in this year's Mobile Quest. Well, Elizabeth, you weren't scared by being number 13. Uh, perhaps you're not superstitious about numbers. Well, not about number 13. Why I even walk under ladders? Yeah, reckless. <laughs> <laughs> but there's one number that has a significance for my family, mm -hmm. number 27. 27? Well, doesn't seem to mean much to me. Well, it's rather an extraordinary coincidence. My father, my mother, my two brothers and myself were all born on the 27th. Well, that is an extraordinary coincidence. Is that the whole family? I mean, are there any others in the family who weren't born on that day? On no, days? no, that's the whole family. And to make it worse, I have an uncle and aunt born on the 27th too. Good heavens. <laughs> it's extraordinary, isn't it? Well, I'm sorry, this isn't the 27th semi-final, but uh, that's it. I think now we should hear you sing. What'll it be? He was despised from the Messiah. Elizabeth Allen sings in the first semi-final, He was despised from Handel's Messiah.
was despised was sung by Elizabeth Allen of New South Wales. And so to our third singer tonight, who won the 14th feet, a tenor from Grange, Queensland, Raymond MacDonald. Well, Raymond, what have you been doing since we saw you last? Well, John, I've been carpentering and uh, studying, working very hard. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, are you very busy in this uh, house building business? Yes, we're very busy, although I do think the carpentering has slackened a little. Mm, I suppose that's finance. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, what else have you been doing? Well, I've been for a trip to Tasmania to see my parents. Oh, that's nice. Uh, did your wife go too? No, we thought it was uh, a little too far for our daughter yeah. to travel. How old is she? Uh, three. Ah, yes, and a couple of thousand odd miles is a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> Good. Well, uh, now tell us what you're going to sing. None Shall Sleep. Right. Raymond MacDonald of Queensland sings the aria None Shall Sleep from Turandot by Puccini. Now, before we hear the next singer, let me introduce a motorist, a lady motorist. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. I simply must tell you about the service I received at my local mobile service station, even though I only called in for plume. Mm -hmm. Almost before I stopped, the smart, uniformed, smiling attendant was beside the car. I asked him to fill it up and sat back. 
Then I noticed that, apart from carefully filling the tank and securely replacing the cab, he cleaned the rear window and polished the windscreen. Then he checked the oil and the water, but also quickly and efficiently. Yes, it's wonderful service, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Well, I paid for the plume, and as I slipped the car into gear, he said, Thanks, madam, for your custom. Please call again. And imagine, I'd only called in for plume. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, who wouldn't call again and again for such real friendly service at the signs of the flying red horse and the mobile service shield? And now, finally, the fourth singer in this semi-final, a soprano from Maroubra, New South Wales, who sang in the first heat, Angelina Arena. <laughs> well, Angelina, you sang in the first heat of this year's Mobile Quest, and now you're singing in the first semi-final. You know, that could be looked on as a good start. They say thing comes in, <laughs> things come in threes. Anyway, uh, tell us what you've been doing since we saw you back in March. I've just finished a, a northern tour of New South Wales with Eugene Guzons and the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. Oh, nice. Where did you go? Uh, to Maitland and Armadale. How long? How long was the trip? Oh, it took about a week. Mm -hmm. And then when I got back, I started with the National Opera, and I played the part of Nedra in Pagliacci. Oh, well, you've been getting about a bit pretty busy one way and another. Oh, yes. Good. Well, let's have your aria now. Uh, what have you chosen? I've chosen the bird song from Pagliacci, Inedis aria, mm -hmm. the Valatella. Ah, good. Ladies and gentlemen, Angelina Arena of New South Wales sings the Balotella from Pagliacci by Leon Cavallo. How fierce he looked as he watched me. I hung my head, fearing lest he should discover my secret thoughts of my lover. Heaven, if he should suspect me with all his brutal ways. No matter, I fear not. These are but empty dreams and idle fancies.
Fratella from Pagliacci was sung by Angelina Arena, the fourth singer in this, the first semi-final of the Vacuum Oil Company's 1952 Mobile Quest. And so our four singers have been heard, and perhaps you've made your decision. Well, in a few moments you'll be able to compare your choice with that of our panel of adjudicators. Now, let me tell you about the perfect combination. A good place at which to do business. Your local mobile service station. And a good man to do business with. Your local mobile service dealer. Always pull in at your local white mobile service station under the sign of the Flying Red Horse for plume, mobile oil, mobile lubrication and for mobile friendly service. And now while we're waiting for the adjudicator's decision, here's an interlude by the Australian Symphony Orchestra. They play an Alfred Mack arrangement of the old English air, Greensleeves. <laughs> Ah, here's the big news. The adjudicators have chosen as the winner of this, the first semi-final of the 1952 Mobile Quest, the contralto from Mortdale, New South Wales, Elizabeth Allen. Tonight's broadcast of the first semi-final of the 1952 Mobile Quest was compared by John Curtis. The broadcast presentation was by Roland Strong, and the Australian Symphony Orchestra was conducted by Hector Crawford, director of Mobile Quest, which comes to you each week with the compliments of the Vacuum Oil Company and your local mobile service station. Remember, for better motoring, always buy from the plume pump. Mm -hmm.